Hello everyone. Um, I just wanted to address something really quickly about the incident that happened at Seabreeze High School. Um, when I first watched that video, I was so heartbroken. Number one, um, I don't, we don't know. I don't know. I'm reading, I was reading all of the reports about the girl having special needs and all this other stuff. I don't, I really don't know. Um, even if that girl did not have special needs, she did not deserve to be tripped like that in front of the camera. Another thing I want to address is on TikTok, there's no challenge of anyone hurting each other. So they could stop the lies right there because they don't even have a challenge to the song. Everyone is just dancing, not hurting anyone, not tripping anyone, not hitting anyone, dancing. And number two, why were you guys in the hallways during school time? Why weren't you in class? Like, what? I don't understand. I really do not understand that at all. I am, I'm praying for, I'm praying for that girl who, who got tripped. Um, bullying is something that schools like to sweep under the rug and only give someone a little lightweight discipline. Like, I don't understand that at all. Like, I don't understand that. And two day school suspension, what is that teaching them? What is that two day school? Well, I, I thought they said in school suspension at IS or something, but what is that going to teach them? You treat others how you will want to be treated. And the wordings to that song had the N word in it. Why would you even play that in the first place? I am very heartbroken with those who are, um, not those, but I'm, my heart goes out to, I, I can't even talk straight, guys. That's how heartbroken I am because of this girl, you know, having to go through something so traumatic. And most people say, oh, those are just kids being kids. No, that's not. No, that's not. What about those, um, the people who committed suicide in Palm Coast that went to FPC? What about those kids who committed suicide due to bullying? You think it was just because of, of kids being kids? No, bullying starts at home. Whether you guys know it or not. It starts at home because you have to ask yourself, when a child is born, do they know about bullying? No, they do not. They see what their parents are doing at home. They see how they treat each other, how they treat your siblings. They see that stuff in the schools. Why aren't you guys doing anything? That's something that I don't understand. If I come to you and I'm telling you that I'm being bullied, I'm opening up myself to you, to the school who's supposed to protect us and help us, and you guys don't do anything about it? Oh, it's just kids being kids. Oh, we'll just give them a school suspension or a detention. What? I don't under I don't understand that like at all. Um, and when I watched the the video of that principal at Seabreeze High School saying move forward, move forward. <laughs> that was the biggest joke. Like, and first of all, and let me touch on that real quick. Y'all couldn't find any better cameras, like the quality of the cam. All right, that's all. all right. But come on now, move forward. If you read my comment in that box, I said, what about those who committed suicide and their parents are, heart are heartbroken because they will no longer have their child anymore due to bullying? Are they supposed to move forward? Are we supposed to just let this slide? It's no longer about that little girl in that video. It's about those who are voiceless. Those who feel afraid to speak up because schools like this don't do anything about it. So when those kids feel like they don't have enough resources, what do they do? They start shutting down. They start getting depressed, having anxiety, low self-esteem.
How do I know this? Because I was that person. So move forward. No, it's not moving forward. Suicide rates has been going up. And it's, it's sad. It makes me so sad. I did research about this when I was in college. And a little girl, 9 or 10 years old, committed suicide due to bullying because she thought that she was ugly. I'm like, wow. If only the school staff and the, um, the bully parents would have done something about it if the school would have solved that problem right there instead of saying, oh, it, kids are gonna be kids and stuff. No, no, I'm not gonna accept that because kids know right from wrong. Seabreeze is a high school. Those are high schoolers that know right from wrong. They're not little two-year-olds. They're not. To the, to the other two girls that uh, was in the video, um. You guys are young. I don't know if you guys are just playing. I don't know. I only know what I've been reading. You know, um, first of all, first they said the school, the girls didn't get kicked off the cheer team. Then they said they did. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. But what I do know is, girls, that could have been your daughter. That could have been your little sister. That could have been your little brother. Treat those how you would want to be treated. I really... This is why I go hard um, about anti-bullying. I am starting a nonprofit organization about anti-bullying. And this is something that, you know, this is something that I want to do because I care for those so much. When I heard about that little girl, my heart just shattered. <laughs> like, it just, it reminded me of me all over again. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, we got to do something. We got to. Seabreeze. The only thing I can say is, you reap exactly what you sow. The Bible talks about that. How you treat people is how you will be treated. Or that's how your children's children will be treated only thing i could do now is fight for justice not just for that girl but for the voiceless those who feel like they can't speak up and i'm not gonna let anyone shut me down from doing that mm -mm. i hope this is a lesson for all the students at seabreeze um you know you he just can't go around bullying other people that's that's unacceptable, guys. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just very heartbroken right now. Um, guys, if you, I don't know who will watch this video, but I really do want to do something for that little girl. Um, I wish they would have released her name or something. I don't know or the parents could make a statement or something but i really want to do something for this little girl and to let her know that she's not alone or for any student at seabreeze high school if you are being bullied and you need someone to talk to you need someone who's going to go to the bat for you please reach out to me um i will leave my email down below um you know you guys are not in this alone if you look at my other youtube video i shared about my bullying experience and you know how that made me feel and not having any right resources to help me and to help guide me but now that i found my voice i'm going to be that voice for the voiceless and for those who feel afraid because i want you guys to know if you're watching this right now and you're being bullied or you just need someone to talk to that or that you feel alone just know that i am there for you and i'm here for you so if you need someone to talk to please reach out to me um i'll leave like i said before i'll leave my email um in the description below if you guys want to yeah i'll just leave my email if you don't have an email address i will leave one of my phone numbers at um at the bottom it's like a google number so i have all of that there um
it's just so heartbreaking. This bullying has to stop. Like, when is enough enough? <laughs> Those words <laughs> move forward. <laughs> That's a big joke. Like, why would they even air that? I don't know. But, y'all, justice for that girl. I'm praying for everyone that's been involved. I know this is not an easy time at all, but I'm praying for y'all. I'm I'm right there with you guys. Like I said, reach out to me if you have any questions or any concerns. I know a lot of people in the um like an anti-bullying um nonprofit organizations that are willing to help you guys that are willing to reach out to the schools and to actually be involved. I know a lot of people like that. Um, I had someone from the Department of Justice, um, they reached out to a lawyer that was in um, Lakeworth that has a, a nonprofit organization about anti-bullying. And I can reach out to those people again. Guys, this is how serious and passionate I am about you guys. So, um, I'm not the type of person who starts something and don't finish it. Like, no, I'm not going to do that because I want to be there for you guys. Okay. Um, thank you for watching this video. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or any concerns, please reach out to me and I'm here. All right. Bye guys.